Good morning. This morning's Mass is being offered for Ronald St. Pierre. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. <clears throat> As we come together, let us prepare, heart, prepare our hearts by calling to mind our sins and failings and opening our hearts to God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. <clears throat> Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed. The fifth day, then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild, <coughs> wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and the earth at their creation. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I, beheld, when I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. 
all sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees and favor me with your law. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with all of you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrine human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things the Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Good morning. We see in that very first reading, of course, the, the account of creation from Genesis. And uh, I'm sure that the writer of the Genesis, <clears throat> we know, of course, had very little scientific knowledge. And they tried to explain the world as best as they could and <clears throat> with their limited knowledge. But the uh, ultimate message that the writer of Genesis has is one that all that is was created by God, and all is good, and God is good. And what comes across also is that sense of wonder at the world around us, that all these things were created by God, and what a wonderful world, what a beautiful world it really is. And <clears throat> it's important that we not lose that sense of wonder particularly as we learn more and more and our sciences advance, that uh, we need to keep that sense of wonder of creation. And we know so much more, but we also know very little. And it seems like every time we make some new discovery, it creates new questions. And uh, we never will completely understand God's creation. When we look at uh, things as intricate and as complex as the single atom, and we're continuing to find new things about that, that single atom. But then we look at the Webb telescope that reaches out as far as we can into the universe. We're overcome with the vastness of the universe. And uh, so that sense of awe increases even as we increase our knowledge of creation. So uh, today, take some time to just be in awe, inspiration <clears throat> of God's creation around us and give God the Father some thanks for all that he has created. And what a wonderful world, what a beautiful world he has created for us. It is good because God has created it. Let us stand and pray. Almighty Father, as we come together this day, we give you thanks for your blessings and we also turn to you with our needs for ourselves and all our sisters and brothers. Let us pray that we may truly enjoy the vastness and the beauty of creation and give thanks to the Father. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those, the people who are suffering because of the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. 
Let us pray that the world may come to their rescue and help and give comfort and consolation to those who have lost so much. We pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, peace between nations, the end of the wars, that so many are wars happening in our world today, we pray to the Lord. And let us also pray for those who are in need of God's healing, body, mind, or spirit, that the Lord might touch them in a special way this day. We pray to the Lord. And let us also lift up to the Lord our own intentions and prayers in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, we thank you for your many blessings, and we thank you especially for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. And this day, we thank you especially for the gift of creation, the many wonders that you have provided for us. May you continue to bless us and grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, we ask you to receive us, we please, with the sacrifice that you offer them in God's right hearts. <clears throat> Lord, forgive my iniquities, so Lord, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> O Lord, our, o Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that we may become, they may become for us the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with all of you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, <clears throat> God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, at the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us to call God our Father, so with faith and confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The Lord be with all of you. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed it that we be partakers in the one bread and one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with all of you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another.